For our candle observation lab, we'll need our lab sheet and a candle, some aluminum foil, a metric ruler, two jars, one small and one large, and a balance beam. Step one tells me I need to measure the length of my candle in centimeters, so I'll do that now. And it appears that this candle to the nearest centimeter, I'm going to say six centimeters exactly. Step two says to weigh the candle and the foil. Later on you'll find out why we also need to weigh the foil. As I do this, it's more than 10 grams. Looks like it's more than 20, but I think 30 is going to be, yeah, 30 is way too much. So it's more than 20. There's 21. 21 looks a little heavy. Uh, 20 and a half. I'm going to say 20.4 grams. We record that on step two. Step three says to describe the candle's color, shape, texture, and odor. You might want to pause the video now so that you can fill out step three. Step four says, now light your candle and observe the flame closely. Draw a diagram of the flame showing its shape and labeling the different colors. So there's our candle. I'll zoom in so that we can get a close-up of that. I don't know if it shows up very well on the video, but the bottom of this flame is somewhat bluish, a little tiny bit of blue on the bottom of that. And then there's kind of a clear part that then fades into the yellows and oranges at the top. On step four it says to draw the picture of that, so go ahead and use colored pencils to do that. Step five says obtain a jar, place the jar over the candle and record what you see. Observe carefully the candle wick, the jar, and the flame, and repeat if necessary. So you'll write down those three observations. On the back of the lab sheet it says on step six, when doing number five, use the second hand of a watch to time just how long your candle stays lit, and to try this twice. So I'm going to use a small jar first. Here we go. My timer is running, and the flame just went out in exactly eight seconds. So write down your observation of what that flame did, but also what the candle wick did, and the jar. For example, I noticed that there was a slight puff of smoke came off the candle wick at the end, and also the jar seems to be kind of foggy inside. You may pause the video to write down your observations on step five and to write down your time on step six. Step six says to record this twice. So I'm going to reset my watch and try this again and see how long it takes the candle flame to go out. Here we go. And that took four seconds approximately, just under four seconds. I wasn't able to stop my watch quite as quickly as I wanted. So I'm going to put down four seconds. It seemed to take less time the second time for some reason. Step seven says, try another size jar. Is it larger or smaller than the first? Well, my second jar is going to be larger. This is the jar I'll be using for the second attempt on step seven. Predict if it will take longer or shorter time for the candle to go out. So write down your prediction if you want to. You may stop the video to do so. Also write down why you think it will take longer or shorter or the same amount of time. We're now ready to finish step seven by timing the second jar. Here I go. Four seconds. 
There's eight, ten, twelve seconds, fifteen, eighteen, twenty seconds, and it stopped at 24.3 seconds. We'll go ahead and record that on line seven. Step eight says, after the candle has burned for a few minutes, measure your candle again in centimeters. Did it change and how much? And nine says, weigh your candle in the foil in grams. Did it change? Did it gain or lose weight and how much? Now the reason I weighed the foil earlier is I, as you can see, there is some wax that has dripped onto the foil. If I was just weighing the candle, then I wouldn't be weighing that wax that's on the foil. And I want to make sure that I get everything back that I originally started with. So I'm going to blow it out now, let it cool off, and then I'll weigh and measure it. When I measure my candle now, it appears to be 5 centimeters instead of 6. So it's definitely gotten shorter, which doesn't surprise me. Now I'm going to weigh the candle and the foil. Before it was about a little over 20 grams. Do you think it will be the same or less? Now 20 seems to be too heavy. Let me back it off. There's 10, there's 15, 17, 18, 19, 19 and a half and that looks just about right. I'm going to call it 19 and a half grams, 19.5. Now try to fill out the conclusions part. Explain any changes in the length or weight. Why did the candle get bigger or smaller in length? Why did the candle gain weight or lose weight? And in my case it got shorter. Please explain why under the conclusions. But it also lost weight. Where is that extra weight? If the wax that melted melted onto the foil, why doesn't it weigh the same amount as it originally did? See if you can find the answers to those questions on the conclusion portion of your lab sheet.